Hey everybody, this is Abhay. In this video, we are going to solve a problem called linked list in a binary tree. This is basically a lead code problem, problem number 1367. In this question, what we have to do, we, have, we will be given a linked list. We will be given a linked list and what we have to do, we have to check that if this linked list exists in our binary tree or not. For example, here, 4 2 and 8 is a linked list and we have to check that if this linked list exists in a binary tree or not and if exist then we have to return true else we have to return false so here we have 4 2 and 8 so as you can see 4 2 and 8 this is this linked list exists in our binary tree so in that case we will return true so this is our question right so the question is pretty straightforward now let's try to solve this problem so what we are going to do we will be using linked we will be using array list to basically solve this problem for example let's say here is our array list now what we will do we will check that if all the elements of this linked list exist in our binary tree or not because that is the very basic condition that each element of the linked list must exist in a binary tree if that's not the case it must return false in you know every cases if the all number doesn't exist in a binary tree right for example here is 4 is 4 uh, is 4 exist in a binary tree yes we can see 4 is here and here so it exists so we will write 4 in our or add 4 in our in our list right now here our 2 now is 2 exist in our tree yes 2 is here and here right so we will fill our list with 2 right now next we have 8 here is 8 exist in our binary tree yes 8 exists in our binary tree here only so our first condition is going pretty good that is all elements of the linked list must exist in a binary tree right now here is our 8 right now what we have to do we have to do just one thing and that is if there exist path between all these numbers of array list so here in this case as we can see there exists a path that is 4 then 2 then 8 so in, in this case we have to turn true that's obvious so okay let's don't go into that let's first fill our array list with the you know numbers that exist in our binary tree or not so for that what we have to do we have to first create our array list so we will type list list of tree node let's call it storing list s t o r i storing storing list this is the name of our array list is new array list right so here we have our uh, global array list right now let's create a function that will fill our array list let's call it store to list public void store to list right it will have head of the linked list head then we have tree node tree node root right now now we have to define the base case that is if head is null or root is null then in that case simply return because we don't have to do not anything further if both of them is null and the other case is the main case that is if head dot val that is the value of head is equal to the value of the root root dot val so in that case as you can see here 4 is matched with sum of the node value that is 4 here so in that case we will add this value to the storing list so storing list dot add root right now we will recursively call the left and right subtree and do the same condition that is store 
to list which is the name of our function we are using recursion here then here we pass head and root dot left root dot left then root dot right same copy and paste here and this time root dot right okay so we are done with this function this will this function will store the values in the array list right now what we have to do we have to check that if there exists a path between them or not right so let's write one more function that check that if there exists a path or not and this path is a public boolean it will return a boolean value and this will call a uh, check sub path check sub path right it will have same input right is list node head then tree node let's fast node this time not the exact root right now let's define the base condition if head is null so in that case return false because linked list our linked list is empty return false and if node is null return two this time okay now if head dot val is equal to node dot val that is the value matches right the value matches then check for the left and right subtree that if there exist a path or not return let's copy this And in this we have to pass head dot next then because we have to compare the next node of the linked list head dot next and uh, node dot left right node dot left or because or, or operator is because here we have like subtree one four two and eight so uh, let's say here we have now it now the two either exist left side or right side of the root it doesn't really matter because we have only have to check for the path that if the path exists or not right so in that case or and we will copy same again and this time it should be node dot right okay so this is our base case and after that return false so this will simply check that if the you know these two nodes this function will, will basically check that that two nodes have a path or not right now in the main function let's write some actual code so so let's fill our uh, array list that is will call this function store to list store to list and we will pass head and root right this function will simply fill the array list with the numbers that are that exist in a tree right now what we have to do we have we have to uh, traverse the list and check that if the elements have nodes have some path or not so for tree node let's call it element element in a storing list let's write storing storing list right now we have we are searching in storing list and if we will call this function if check path sum check path sum between head head and this element this element if there is a path in between head and the element that is the current element that we are on in the storing list if there is a path then simply return true right else return false okay so what we had done okay first let's run this code Okay, there is some error that says cannot find a symbol storing list. 
storing list i guess there is a typo yes there is small l then this one again okay as you can see this solution is accepted now let's submit okay we again have an error and this error says wrong answer now let's check where we are wrong okay here is our error and this error is if head is null then in this case we have to return true and when node is null we have to return false okay let's submit this again and let's see how it goes okay as you can see the solution is accepted and let's revise again so what we had done we had traversed the list and checked that if element even exists in our tree or not and if it doesn't exist then we have to return false and we don't have to check even further so four four exist here and here then two that two exist here and here then eight eight also exist here right now if exist then store it in a array list so four to eight is stored in the array list now now we just have to check that if there exists a path between them or not right so this is the function store to list this function will basically help us not help us this function will basically store the elements in the list if exist then it will store in the list and this function check sub path will basically check it use recursion it will check that if there exist a path between two node or not now in the main uh, function or method here we have store to list and passed head and root this will simply uh, store our you know array list with this will fill our array list with our desired nodes right now we will try we are traversing in our array list and if there exists a path between that uh, element of the linked list and the, the current element or current element of the array list if there exists a path then return true else return false so that was the code so that's it for this video if you enjoyed the video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more coding interview problems see you in the next video